Hello, today I'm going through some answers to data test type questions. You might like to have a go at the questions yourself and then watch my solutions. I hope it's helpful. So let's have a look at the first question. An experiment was conducted to determine the specific heat capacity of copper. So when you've got a big piece of information like this, you might like to peruse through Think about what's some key information. So initially it was all at room temperature. So a solid copper cylinder was at room temperature and it was placed inside a styrofoam cup with hot water. The temperature of the copper and the water were measured with a thermometer and before combining them. Then the temperature of the water was measured after it had reached thermal equilibrium with the copper. The whole process was repeated three times. The results of the experiment were recorded in the table below. So the first question, assuming all energy lost by the water is gained by the copper, calculate the specific heat capacity of copper for trial three. So we need to figure out what is the specific heat capacity. Now you may remember from previous lessons, specific heat capacity is C. So we have Q equals m times delta t times c or the thermal energy measured in joules is equal to the mass in kilograms times the change in temperature often in degrees celsius times by the specific heat capacity so we need to Use the information in trial 3 to calculate little c. Okay, so in the question, it says, assuming all energy lost by the water is gained by the copper. So the water energy lost here is equal to Q. So that's what Q is. Uh, we have the mass of the copper, so that's our M. Our change in temperature of the copper. And we don't know what C is. So we rearrange this algebraically to figure out what C is equal to. So divide 4805 by these two numbers. And hopefully you have a calculator handy. So the specific heat capacity of copper for trial 3 is 392.6. Because if you have a look here, it says answers correct to one decimal place. And you would have, you can see it has the units up there. It's less than the other trials because the water energy loss is less. All right, let's have a go at question two. Using your calculated value and other values in the table, calculate the average specific heat capacity of the copper and its uncertainty. So average is pretty simple. Add those three together of the three trials divided by the number of trials, which is three. 419.9 because we're going to one decimal place. Now we need to calculate the uncertainty. So if you're not familiar with uncertainty, the uncertainty is the maximum minus the minimum divided by 2. So this plus or minus um, around that average would be the maximum minus the minimum, which we just calculated, divided by 2, which is 26.7. So there's your answer. Uh, so next, compare the experimental average value of the specific heat capacity to the known value for specific heat capacity for copper. So we know that Copper is 385 uh, heat 
specific heat capacity um, and this is less than the average heat specific heat capacity that we calculated. So the real specific heat capacity is less than the experimental by 34.9. So that amount that I just calculated, the 34.9, is the absolute error. So it's the measured value minus the real value or true value. So we've calculated the absolute error. In this question, because we're comparing the two, we would also want to do the percentage error equals what we just calculated, measured minus true, divided by the true value. And both of these have these lines which mean absolute. So if it was negative, um, it would become positive. So on the calculator you get approximately um, 9.1%. So if you compare the two, we have an absolute error of 34.9 and a percentage error of 9.1. So all of these questions, I just have the numerical answer. It's really important that each um, answer you give you give in a sentence and you put the correct units for each of these as well. So just keep that in mind and don't forget to check out part two of this data test practice video.